Hi everybody, welcome to the YouTube channel Upcoming Cyclone Updates, this is the latest weather forecast for United States about extreme weather going on, smash the subscribe button and notifications bell to get all future updates timely, thanks. Deep storm over the Great Lakes will move southeastward to the mid-Atlantic coast by Thursday evening and northeastward to the Gulf of Maine by Friday. The system will produce a late-season winter storm across portions of the Great Lakes and the northeast from Wednesday into Friday. The western portion of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is forecast to receive heavy snow through Wednesday evening. Snowfall accumulations of as much as 1 to 2 feet are expected in parts of northern Wisconsin and the western portion of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The same storm will produce northeast snow and wind Wednesday through Friday. Heavy, wet snow and some sleet will spread into the northeast on Wednesday and continue into Friday. Portions of northern New York and northern New England will likely see significant snow accumulations of over 12 inches. The system will create significant impacts from heavy snow and wind, and the combination of heavy snow rates and gusty winds will lead to dangerous travel conditions, with wide-out conditions and snow-covered roads. The combination of wet snow, high snow load, and strong wind gusts could also result in tree damage and power outages. On Thursday, heavy snow will develop over parts of the central Appalachians. Furthermore, prolonged onshore winds late Wednesday and continuing through Thursday will result in moderate coastal flooding for portions of the northeast coast. Impacts include widespread roadway flooding, coastal and bayside flooding, impassable roads, and some damage to vulnerable structures. Moreover, Along the associated front extending from the lower Great Lakes to the central Appalachians southward to the central Gulf Coast will move off most of the east coast overnight Wednesday. The boundary will aid in producing showers, and severe thunderstorms will develop over parts of the mid-Atlantic and southeast coast. Therefore, the SPC has issued a slight risk, level 2-5, of severe thunderstorms over parts of the mid-Atlantic coast to the southeast coast and Florida Peninsula through Thursday morning. The hazards associated with these thunderstorms are frequent lightning, severe thunderstorm wind gusts, hail, and a few tornadoes. Showers and thunderstorms will produce heavy rain over parts of the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Therefore, the WPC has issued a slight risk, level 2-4, of severe thunderstorms over parts of the mid-Atlantic and southern New England through Thursday morning. The associated heavy rain will create mainly localized areas of flash flooding, with urban areas, roads, and small streams the most vulnerable. The threat of severe thunderstorms and excessive rainfall ends on Thursday. Meanwhile, a front moving inland over the Pacific Northwest into Northern California will move eastward to the Northern Rockies to the Great Basin and Southwest by Friday. On Wednesday, the system will create coastal rain and higher elevation snow over parts of the Pacific Northwest slash Northern Intermountain region, moving inland to the Northern Intermountain region, Great Basin, and Northern California overnight. The snow levels will lower after the front passes by over the Northwest. The coast-slash-lower elevation rain and higher elevation snow will continue over the Pacific. Northwest-slash-Northern Intermountain Region through Friday. On Thursday, rain and higher elevation snow will move into central California and expand into the Great Basin. Overnight Thursday, rain will move into Southern California. Heavy snow will develop over the Sierra Nevada mountains on Thursday into Friday. Thanks for watching.